All right, here's the problem. I have a four and a half hour gap period between two of my classes a semester. So what I've been doing is just coming to my car and hanging out, doing some work, uh, napping sometimes. Um, and I had a thought recently. I want to convert my car into a little office space and a place where I can just kind of hang out for a few hours while I'm in, while I'm in school, right? So we're going to go to the store right now to pick up some supplies just to make this area a little more comfortable, a little more practical to stay in for this long. Just to show you guys kind of what I'm thinking in terms of layout, what the vision is here. I folded down to, uh, two of the seats on the driver's side. Now this would be the area where I kind of can take a nap and maybe put a pad down or a mattress down or something. The other part of this build is going to be the desk and work area here. So I left this seat up so I can kind of sit here. Um, I do have to figure out a sort of a platform right here to put a laptop on so I can work with. Measuring this area out front to back, I get about five feet of length here. So I do need to come up with a few more inches here just to give myself a little more uh, leg room and head room. This whole seat cushion comes on out. So let's get this out of here. Give us ourselves a little more space. So with that seat cushion out of the way, if I bring this all the way down, um, I could probably push this seat a little forward when I need to use it and then build out a little platform here just to give myself a little more headroom. Let me show you guys exactly what this is here. So I'd previously built this box to kind of fit perfectly behind this passenger seat. Um, I used this before for a toolbox. The top here opens, it's just a big compartment. And then I have this kind of a cubby area in the front. Um, this will allow me to kind of put the fridge right on top of it and strap it down. Only problem with the, how it is right now is that the access to this compartment is from the top here. And if I have the fridge sitting right on it, it's gonna be a little difficult. So I'm thinking I may just cut a window right out of the side of the box here. That way I can have access to things from the side. I did have a couple extra random pieces of plywood. Um, sometimes you just get really lucky. So this piece here just happened to be the perfect width and length to fit in right behind this driver's seat. Um, that would allow me to kind of uh, extend the sleeping platform here. So sometimes, you just kind of have that random piece of whatever that just works out for a project and that's just one of those times. For this piece here, um, I do want to use it as kind of the desk platform for this seat over here. I don't know how I want it to kind of deploy just because I don't want it in just kind of fixed in place in there all the time. I do want to be able to fold it away or kind of put it away somehow. So I, what I'm thinking so far is I have this little um, I don't even know what you call it, this kind of RV bracket, right? It kind of locks into place this way and then pull that, it folds back down. Once I support this platform fully and give it some legs, I might build it out so that this will just kind of mount to the side and then fold out like so. So let's, let's try that and see how it works. For the legs of the platform, I'm gonna just go pretty basic here. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy. Um, I cut a piece of plywood out to the length of the leg, which I'm gonna put here towards the end. And I'm just going to use a block in the corner here just to kind of support it. That way it doesn't buckle when there's weight onto it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue on this, drive some screws in from the top and then into the side and it should be plenty strong. I went ahead and just rounded off this corner here with the, uh, I think, half inch router bit. Then followed it up with, I think, 80 grit sandpaper just around the edges so I have a nice and smooth 
edge along this here. So hopefully this will prevent the seats from um, breaking down and, and tearing. So. Okay, good. All right, so we have the platform in with its legs attached. Um, again, there's not gonna be that much weight on it. Really, it's just gonna be either my head or my feet just in this little area here. So I'm not too concerned about that. I'm not obviously gonna be sitting on this or standing on it. So I didn't really have to make this too strong, but it's plenty strong for what I need to do. The more I keep thinking about how I wanna build the desk and the folding mechanism and all that stuff, the more I don't like my original idea. But let me, let me explain, come on. So as I kept sitting here and thinking about how I want to build uh, the desk, the problem is if I want to build it folding from this area here, I'm kind of limited to the width of the desk, right? Because if it folds down, it has to fit in this kind of footwell area. So when it comes back up, you really, you really only have a desk that ends kind of right here, which isn't ideal because if I want to work on say, I want to have my laptop here and a notebook in front of it, I'm kind of leaning over and trying to work that way where I'm not sitting back, which is a problem. So instead, what I think I'm going to do is just have a sort of a lap desk where I can just put a little platform here for my laptop up top, use my notebook and I can write and work this way. This way I can take this whole thing and even take it to the kind of uh, sleeping, laying down area if I want to work. Um, I think this solution kind of works overall better for everything. So let's do that. Like I mentioned a little while ago, um, I do want to cut a hole out on the side here just to have access to the storage underneath. Let's get this out of here and then get this cut out. I had previously wrapped the box in carpet just to kind of make it look nicer and just tie it all together. Obviously, it's going to be kind of hard to trace this out onto carpet. So I'm going to use some blue tape um, and just lay it out in kind of the shape that I want. And I can come back. Uh, with a marker and just draw the lines. Now, obviously with the carpet here, it's going to be a little bit difficult to cut through just because it may jam the blade um, and kind of just get in the way. So before I start to cut, I'm going to just open up a little bit of a square, peel back the carpet, cut the wood out, and then that'll leave me a little bit of excess carpet so I can wrap that around the edges and tidy it up. Like I said, um, I should probably cut this open first, peel back the carpet, and then put the tape on. I don't know why I just did that for a second. I'm just gonna use my carpenter square to put it here at the bottom edge. I'm going to mark out about three inches on both sides. Now that I have the shape roughly kind of traced out of what I want to cut, uh, I'm just going to use the drill to pop a little pilot hole there and then follow up with my jigsaw as close to the line as possible. Okay. And there we go, good. There's our cubby cut out. Um, we went ahead and carpeted the edges. It's not the cleanest seams in the world, but honestly, from a distance, you won't even be able to tell, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but this is perfect. This lets us have access directly from the side here so that we don't have to open up the top and then reach in, move the fridge and all that. So let's get this back in place, mounted in, and then we'll figure out the fridge situation. Okay. 
So it is held on on this side from this little Velcro block, which I have another one and I'll place right here. So once that's stuck on there, this fridge shouldn't really move anywhere and should be good to go in place. You may have noticed I kept putting off the desk portion of this build because I'm still not 100% satisfied with how I want to build it, right? So we talked about having it kind of fold out and do this crazy mechanism. We've also talked about having it as a lap desk. Again, the lap desk idea I do like, but I don't know how I feel about having the weight of the laptop, notebook, everything else on my lap for an extended period. So I do want to figure out some sort of floating mechanism that just stays in place. Um, I have a general idea, so let's try that and see if it'll work. Here's the idea so far. I have the desk platform uh, cut in half here. So my idea is it's going to just kind of fold in half like this, and then the whole thing can kind of tilt down. So it'll come back up and then fold out onto your lap. I do have this piano hinge left over from another project from the uh, camp kitchen build, if you want to check that one out. And I'm just going to cut this down to size. That is pretty good. Before I put the hinge into place and secure it, I do want to make sure that these two pieces are as tight together as possible. So that way when it folds back down, it's really just this lip here that's supporting this platform when it's folded out. So I want to make sure this is as tight as possible so it doesn't kind of uh, sag when it's mounted there. So in order to do that, I'm going to try to flip the whole thing over like this. I'll get it as tight as I can, and then I'm going to just tape it in place together, hopefully hold it enough so I can secure it. And then really pull without breaking the tape, of course, I try not to break the tape. All right, so that is on there, it's tight. Let's get this tape off of here and test it out. <laughs> All right, that looks like it works pretty well. So it folds up, and then when it needs to come out, it'll just fold out that way. Nice, and that is Nice and tight on there, shouldn't be a problem. Once we mount this into place, it should, it should be able to just fold out like this and then fold back down. So let's figure that out now. I want to mount the desk onto the sleep platform that I have here just on its side. Um, the only issue is if I put anything coming off of it this way, off of this face, whatever mechanism or whatever screws or anchor points I use to secure this, once it's kind of deployed, once the desk is deployed, it'll put too much torque on it and it'll rip it out. So I do have to secure it from the leg going upward. So using, let's say, um, a piece of wood like this, right? I have to tie it into here and here so that this doesn't tip over. The piece of plywood that I'm gonna put here for the desk is the cutoff from the box that we did earlier. Um, that's why there's this strip of carpet on it still. It's um, what happens when you just reuse things that you have, you know, it's a little bit more work, but ultimately it's cheaper, obviously. All right, I went ahead and grabbed the desk platform and I wanna see the best position to kind of mount this right here. So I think if we put the arm there, nice, that should be good to go. Good. 
and that will fold down. Perfect. Okay, good. All right, that's nice and secure. And if I hold this, that folds nice and flat up against it. So that actually works pretty well. Not too bad there. Okay, so that is in place right there. So when I want to deploy the desk, I'll just bring this up. It'll click into place and then I'll fold this down closer to my lap. So I have this nice working surface right here. Um, it's a little, I mean, a little wobbly there, but it should be fine. So here's how this is gonna work, right? I can come here, bring this end up, go ahead and get in the car, and then I can fold this area down and it's nice and close to my lap here. Again, it is a little, wobbly here which is fine it's secure that's just a kind of a little bit of a play in that hinge so it's secure it's not going to move anywhere um, it does kind of remind me of like one of those airplane seats that fold down so it should be okay i should be able to put my laptop say right over here and then have this area here for a notebook or ipad or whatever it is so so far pretty happy with this not too bad and then when i need to pack it away i fold that end up and then fold it down and it's nice tucked out of the way. This might be the part of the video where I might have gotten carried away a little bit. So let me explain. Um, instead of putting my laptop on the actual fold-out desk thing here, if you guys see this little, oh, let me adjust this, this little post right here. So this was a computer desk mount that I had for a while, just been sitting kind of in storage. So I mounted it onto the sleep platform down here, which allowed me to put a arm that I can mount my laptop to. Now, I could take this laptop and just put it right here next to me and work on it like this. Or, of course, because we still have this desk that folds out and then folds onto my lap, I can put my laptop wherever I need it to be here in space and still have my desk area here to write on and work on here. So this should work out way better than what I had before. And I still have my little desk space here to work on. I didn't really like how unstable this was and loose. So I went ahead and just added another hinge in that corner there, just a cabinet hinge. It's not like this locking one here, but it just happened to be the same kind of, uh, I guess, folding profile as that one. So it kind of worked out. So now this thing is much more sturdy. So you see, as I'm moving it, that whole platform now is moving, meaning it's secure and locked into that um, platform there. Okay, so I've been using the setup for about a couple weeks now, and I have to say it's been pretty fantastic. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome to have just a nice area to come and relax, study, uh, take a nap if I need to without bothering anyone. Um, but after using it for a little while, there are a couple things that I want to change. So the first thing I want to talk about is just the desk itself. Um, if you guys see this hinge, it sits really close to this chair and then when I'm sitting here my leg kind of rubs against this and it's just not very comfortable. So one thing we can do to fix that is raise this whole platform up slightly but before I do that I want to try to switch this hinge with the other um, one here with the smaller one. So I'm going to flip it around that way the hinge is further back and it won't be as close to my leg so we'll do that. Um, it leads me to my other point. When my leg hits this and it moves the whole desk and this moves, this whole platform kind of shakes and moves. It's not stable whatsoever, as you guys can see here, because obviously it's one piece. So we also have to figure out a way to stabilize this and just secure it in place. Temporarily, of course, because I still want this platform to be able to come out when I don't want this set up. I've gone ahead and just moved the main hinge over to the other side of the desk. Uh, I secured it to the top portion here, but I just have it clamped in place to the sleep platform just for now. Uh, I use this one by two piece of wood here just as a spacer to bring it up just, just a little bit. So hopefully that'll help. Once I have this secured in place, I'll use my other uh, hinge and secure it onto this side. Take this piece of one by two out and we should be good to go.
All right, we've moved the hinge over and swapped these two places. So let's put this back in the car and see if that helped at all. All right. So as you can see, there's plenty more leg room now that we've moved the hinge over. So that worked out great. And I think bringing it up just that little quarter of an inch or half an inch really helped quite a bit. So I'm pretty happy with that. I need to figure out a way to secure this sleep platform down into the car. Again, once that, once that uh, desk is up, this has a tendency to kind of tilt and move, which obviously we want to avoid. Here's my plan so far. I want to attach this little uh, eye bolt to the platform itself and then use this turnbuckle somewhere underneath to kind of have this secure and I can tighten it down and cinch it down. All right, I have the outline of where the headrest goes roughly kind of taped out here with the blue tape. Um, I'm going to use the scrap piece of three quarter inch plywood and I'm going to just place it kind of in the center right here. That looks good right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just screw this down, secure it in place. That'll allow me to have a nice thick area to put the eye bolt through. So let's do that. Before I get the platform back in here and secure it in place, let me just show you where I plan on securing it down. So I bring the seat back up. Uh, where the old seat bottom used to sit has these little bars here, this little metal bars. I'll show you guys here as a close up. Um, it's welded onto place, so it should be pretty strong. And once I put the eye bolt through and secure it down, it shouldn't go anywhere. All right, so there we go. We have the uh, turnbuckle attached down there near the seat and then back up near the eye bolt there so that this guy shouldn't move anywhere. Good to go. There you have it guys. I've successfully turned my car into a mobile office and cozy rest area. I'm most excited about how the desk work area came out. There's just so many different types of configurations and styles that I'm able to use this in, which allow me to find the most comfortable working position. The sleep area turned out pretty comfortable, especially after adding this memory foam sleep pad. Allowing me to catch up on my rest and just having a place where I can relax and hang out makes a huge difference in my mental toll while I'm at school for so long. And of course, we can't forget about the car fridge that gives me quick access to food and drinks while I'm out here studying. I also managed to fit in a few more creature comforts like the small fan here and others that I decided to skip out on. And there we have it guys. Thank you again so much for watching the video all the way through. I had a lot of fun putting this build together. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So make sure you guys like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if, to be updated on any future videos that I might put out. So thank you again.